We're in today with the RTX 2080 Ti. This is a 2018 video card with 4,352 shaders, 11 gig of VRAM, GDDR6, 1,350 megahertz on the core clock and 1,750 megahertz on the memory clock. It's got 352 bits bus width, DirectX 12 support, and we're gonna pair it up with this i7 7 gen with four cores and eight threads. I'm very scared about the CPU because it's not gonna keep up with this. This, uh, video card but regardless we're gonna push this video card to the limit i mean higher details so we can see how this uh, video card is holding in a couple of games let's start with dota this is one of those games that i would really like to play on a video card like this and the only thing i'm interested in is to see how it's performing with maximum details 2080 ti with 11 gig of vram let's see how the game is performing because in some situation you can actually see it's dropping below playable fps i think my cpu is gonna create a couple of problems i think this is the only problem that i have here <laughs> my cpu i think a couple of threads are uh, i should say not helping this uh, video card if you're wondering if it's viable to to pair up this uh, 2080 ti with uh, an i7 7 gen it's possible you can actually see the fps are great you know but i'm 100 sure there's problems with the threads and uh, this is one of those situations that you will encounter let's see if it's possible to actually uh, play the game on maximum 60 fps look at this in a team fight uh, is dropping below 60 fps imagine having a 2080 ti and you're like what only 2.3 gig of vram it's being utilized uh 30 40 percent load on the video card like 40 degrees and you're wondering why is not uh, uh, maxing out on uh, hundreds of fps with this video card well the cpu the threads you know in this case system ram is not being utilized it got 11 gig of system ram so i7 without overclocking and boosting it uh, to a higher frequency or maybe the threads are uh, actually the problem you will get uh, a semi bottleneck and dota was the first example that i wanted to show you because i know it's utilizing the cpu uh, properly in this case all right let's jump in war thunder and see how the game is working with uh, this system look at this maximum details uh, maximum as a preset with this uh, video card and this system 7.3 gig of uh, system ram being utilized it looks fantastic man it, look, it looks and it runs fantastic uh, the cpu has no problem based on the temperature I'm, I'm thinking how the the cpu and the the computer is working you know i will say that if i have a problem i will look at the temperature on the cpu and i will look now on the wattage and see how much uh, the whole computer is uh, taking in this case you can actually see it's barely utilizing uh, 300 watts but uh, 50 percent load on the core of the video card and it's keeping the video card and under 60 degrees decent i will take it there is no problem in this situation but if we're jumping in cross out with uh, maximum details you can actually see it looks fantastic the game is gorgeous you know no upscaling no dlss apparently the game it's uh, being utilized at maximum look at this got a problem 74 degrees <laughs> it's being utilized properly and uh, that's a big problem seriously listen the video card is overheating here 390 watts consumption from this computer now maximum load i mean it's not maximum load on the video card but it's being utilized properly you know so i will say a decent amount of power is put in uh, in this pc considering the wattage that is taking it's not bad it's not good it's just being utilized at uh, at maximum theoretically this is the first time i'm seeing this uh, computer this video card running like this it's uh, it's gonna be very interesting so to, if you understand how i'm cooling this video card regardless uh, the cpu is doing great 50 degrees that means uh, it's not fully loaded I mean, not fully loaded. I mean, it's doing the job, you know, 40, 50 percent, 8 gig of uh, system RAM being utilized. So an overall performance, it's great from the computer. But if we're jumping in Apex, this is going to be very interesting because the GPU and the system itself is doing a fantastic job. I mean, I'm not very surprised because it looks fantastic on maximum details. It gives me over 100 uh, FPS. So that is uh, something that I will take. I will not complain because uh, even though the 47 minimal is not okay i will uh usually adjust the settings in order to get uh, the best uh, fps in this case it looks uh, great it runs great so in this case i will take this experience because it's very playable it looks fantastic it's very snappy the frame time is good in some cases the averages uh, are getting higher but uh, i don't want to count on that because uh, i need to be on the I shall say on the plus numbers on the cpu side 40 50 percent load on the cpu 
nearly 10 gig of system RAM being utilized, 100 uh, FPS on uh, 1%, it's good. But uh, like I said, efficiency is more important. And if I'm uh, reaching now 350 watts and uh, getting uh, 40, 50 FPS on uh, minimals, it's not okay. You know, you have to drop a little from the quality in order to get uh, better uh, numbers but if we're jumping in uh, far light you can actually see that the system is doing a fantastic job the only problem i have is the gpu that is reaching 80 degrees this is very scary because uh, it's utilizing the gpu at uh 70 80 percent load so 3.3 gig of vram only utilized from this uh, video card it's okay you know but uh, i wish i had uh, more cooling on this <laughs> 80 degrees is the peak on the ms afterburner if i remember correctly on the system side you can actually see it's uh, utilizing 8 gig that's actually great for this uh, computer it's doing a fantastic job from the cpu side because it's not uh, overheating the cpu 50 53 degrees in this case with uh, four 40-50% load on the CPU side. 24 on uh, minimals in this case, but whenever you're fighting on, and doing some, uh, how shall I say, uh, whenever you're fighting, utilizing some skills, you will notice that is uh, dropping uh, super low. In this case, you can actually see that PUBG is working really nice with maximum details, 1080p. I got uh, 110. 20 render scale let me show you what i'm talking about so on graphics i got uh, maximum details on ultra preset with sharpening and 100 120 percent uh, render scale i wanted to see if the computer is uh, being utilized here and it's being utilized <laughs> 403 watts consumption so overall performance is great the gpu is doing the job 80 80% load on the core, but the VRAM is not being utilized. So this is a big, uh, big L for this uh, amount of VRAM from the video card. I'm 100% sure if you're interested in actually playing the game, you can do it with a video card that has maybe 8 gig of uh, VRAM. The CPU on the other hand, 60-70% load, you can actually see the CPU is doing a fantastic job with 70-80% load on the on the CPU side. 11 gig of system RAM being utilized near a smoke, it reaches uh, 70 60 70 uh, fps on average 23 it's 23 is not okay whenever you're fighting grenades smokes and stuff like that look at the fps minimal 2 13 1 percent frame time goes nearly 20 the moment it spikes when you're in a fight you're done you know so do i like the performance i like the performance but you need to understand that you need to make this uh, custom setting but if we're jumping in uh, counter strike with maximum details very high presets you can actually see that the gpu and the system is doing a fantastic job i mean come on let's face it the majority of the time you will never play with uh, maximum details because you will make uh, custom settings in this case, you can actually see that the system is taking 10.2 gig of system RAM, keeping the CPU around 53 degrees. So it's an adequate uh, performance from this computer and uh, utilization. It's uh, quite decent. In this case, it's important to understand that very high is not ideal if you're interested on uh, better uh, minimals than 27. Yes, on the GPU side, 50. 5.2 gig of uh, VRAM utilized with uh, less than 50% load on the core, keeping the GPU on 61 degrees. That's 60 degrees, it's okay. Well, the overall uh, power consumption on the computer is less than 300 watts. So that means uh, the overall performance, the thermal performance, it's okay. But if I jump in Starfield with 1080p on ultra, everything max out, you can actually see that the GPU is delivering a nice performance here. It looks fantastic. Fantastic. There is no upscaling. I never put upscale on and uh, I wanted to see if uh, the GPU or the CPU is bottlenecking. If I have in this situation this amount of FPS with uh, no uh, upscaling, I think it will be very interesting to see how it is working with uh, upscaling, you know. But at the same time, I want to lock it to 60 FPS so I don't need uh, more so I can uh, release that uh, power, you know. I don't, I don't want to put 410 watts consumption, you know, because it's hitting the room. <laughs> seriously I, do, do, do i want the hits no i don't want the hit seriously I, I don't want the hit i just want the entertainment in this case i put uh dlss on uh on auto we're gonna leave dlss auto in order to see what's going on apparently 40 fps i don't like it i'm gonna put performance to see do i have any increase in 51 fps 
what the heck is going on seriously in this case you can actually see it, it just doesn't want to go more than 50 fps what the heck is going on maybe fsr is working frame generation on i mean uh, the quality is okay you know it's on ultra so you don't uh, you don't uh, see it too much you know i think uh, fsr and frame generation it's kind of okay in this situation it looks and it runs okay you know so if i got 80 fps i think uh, uh, v-sync will be mandatory in this case let's see if uh, if it's uh, worth it 15.3 gig of system ram 98 percent load on the cpu in some cases it, it's yeah yeah it's it's doing it's doing the job you know it looks and it runs fantastic so do i need the uh, dlss no do i need fsr yes please look at this <laughs> playable fps with fsr thank you today i had the greatest opportunity to test uh, zotac uh, 28 ati now i bought this video card from ebay and it was uh, a luck what was the catch well it has nothing you know it's got uh, no shroud no nothing and i was like but wait daniel you you still have it in the computer well yes because apparently this video card was selling for 50 pounds like this in this condition with the uh, with the uh, with the fan broken see the the connector was cut off everything everything was uh, disconnected so i bought two one is in the computer and one is here so i can show you the problem with this uh, video card is that i had to put a, to make a dy uh, fan uh, on top of it so i could just throw some air on that radiator in order to show you so i use some zip ties locked it uh, uh, there and uh, the the fan that is there is used with uh, a molex adapter you know i think it's molex or yeah i think it's molex you know so the molex it's uh, powering up those fans why too because because of this connector <laughs> in the future i wanted to test it i have a 2080 ti i, I was like should i risk getting one but they are not the same model maybe the fan is not okay and i was like yeah, yeah i don't know you know so you know what i will take two of them and if i get lucky at least one to work and it will be okay the future is going to be very interesting to see if i can manage to put a couple of fans on them and put that uh, nv link uh, on those cards and see how the cards are performing in 2024 can't say nothing about 2080 ti because 2080 ti is, a, is still a fantastic video card so if you're interested in getting a 2080 ti it will be ideal to get it because they are still awesome regardless if you like the video today make sure you smash that like button if you're new to the channel uh, it would be very nice to subscribe and uh, if you have any suggestion in the future for those cards leave a comment and uh, yeah i will see you very soon